Hey guys, welcome back to the weight room. It's Sunday morning, um, and the Arnold Classic is now officially in the book. So the bodybuilding contest that really kicks off the season has started. So and what a show it was here. Hold on. Um, it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, pretty good show. Uh, some surprises. I um, didn't expect the winner, but I'm very happy for him. Um, if you didn't know who win, well, it's Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry took home the championship and he brought the package I did not expect this I fear he'd at least be top four um, but uh, he was he edged out uh, the when defending champion William Bonac um, so it uh, congratulations to Brandon he definitely looked really good very big um, very defined um, his definition was was definitely a bit, um, better than Bonax and I think um, which also the announcers alluded to it as well. The, uh, the small waist that he that he brought to his, the package too, with the size that he had, um, really helped him out a lot because they're starting to really kind of, you know, ding on the uh, big overhanging guts that a lot of people talk about. So kudos to Brandon Curry uh, for the win. Um, that was pretty pretty darn cool. Um, like I said, I, I didn't see that one coming. Um, I fared a top four, uh, maybe three, but didn't expect him to win. But uh, he definitely brought it. So just when you think you got this game figured out, you know, somebody brings a package that's just better than everybody else. But it's just goes to show you, you know, who's better on a given day. And he was definitely the better one on the uh, given day. Here's the, um, here he is next to William Bonac doing a front double bicep. Um, you can see they both look very good. Um, you can see the midsection there. Brandon um, is thinner, which gives him more of a wider look, although Bonac back is probably second to none um, on his development. Uh, Bonac was, looked really good, um, always carrying the muscle on, the, on that frame that he does. Um, tremendous, uh, had great legs. Um, so that, that, that's a pretty good comparison shot there for the two. So um, I, was, I was happy with the... Uh, I was happy with the results. Um, I think the um, the shocker to me was Ruley Winkler, um, who dropped down to fifth place. Um, did not see that one coming. Actually, I had him probably winning the sh him or him or William Bonac winning the show. But uh, I really came with the size, of course, like he always does. But he was just you know really soft, um, holding some water. Just um, didn't look quite sharp like he had before in the past. But now he's going to the Arnold in Australia. Um, in a couple weeks, so look for some damage there because he can really peel down in another two weeks, and that's looking to be a pretty good show coming up uh, there too. So I'm looking forward to the results on that one because we've got some pretty good looking physiques that are going to be on the stage battling, battling for that uh, that title there too. And I think the surprise for the show, but uh, not really um, a surprise to me, was Luke Sandow. Um, the guy looked phenomenal. Um, he is really up in his game. Look for this guy to do some damage uh, coming up in the near future. Um, he's he's going to be something to reckon with. Uh, he looked very good. He was very happy to be there. His fourth place finish was pretty darn good for him, he thought. So he was shooting for a top six, but he ended up getting a top four, so he done exceeded that. So, uh, Luke, you looked really good. Um, you know, really hard, dense muscle. Um, you know, look very, very very well deserved uh, fourth place finish so I am definitely proud of uh, what Luke done there so there's uh, somehow some of the competitors look but like I said it was a, it was a pretty good show um, I, I was just really shocked on the um, you know on some of the placings but uh, it uh, they the guys whoever you know they, they all learned the place and they all learned it uh, I'm gonna run down the uh, list here of uh, positions uh, obviously uh, Brandon Curry was your winner followed by the defending champion, William Bonac. Uh, excuse me, Luke Sandow finished third, not fourth. I made a mistake there. He was even better, so he definitely exceeded his uh, expectations. So sorry about that, Luke. Congratulations on your third place finish. Uh, Cedric McMillan was fourth. Um, Cedric come in, you know, a little soft, but he, he looked very massive again. He's probably got arguably the world's biggest traps. I mean, I, I don't know if that's kind of a, uh, almost a distracting view um, of his physique, but definitely huge, huge traps. And then fifth was Rolly Winkler. Um, sixth was Steve Kuklo, which looked, looked really good. Um, he he looked pretty good tonight, last night, uh, pretty pretty sharp. Uh, eighth was uh, was a guy that some people had actually winning the show or, or placing top three. 
um, was Josh Lenardowitz, uh, finished down in eighth spot. Uh, nine was Akeem Williams, packing on massive, massive amounts of muscle. Uh, he gets that defined and sharp. Uh, he's going to be a thread. He's kind of a, a bow-neck build, really thick and, and compact. Uh, Charles Dixon, the, the uh, former 212 competitor, don't, who, uh, of course, Arnold doesn't have a 212, so he uh, stepped up a little game a little bit, went into the open. Um, and a little soft, but, uh, you know, he's comp pair of some pretty big guys up there, finishing 10th. And then the, uh, the, new, the new one on the stage from Russia was Mikhail Volenkin. Hope I spelled that, uh, or said that name right. So that uh, is your top 10 at the Arnold Classic. Um, before I go, I want to give a, a shout out to the winner from all the other cl uh, classes that were there competing as well. Because you know, there are so many other competitions going on this, this, that weekend. It is just tremendously a busy weekend and, and it's still the fitness section while it's still going on today. I'm just doing an early wrap up show for the uh, shows that went on yesterday. Uh, for the men's classic physique, uh, George Peterson, who looked really good, edged out Steve Loris, who was always a, a threat there. In the physique class, uh, Andre Ferguson went back to defend his title. He wins it again. That's his second title in a row. So congratulations to and Andre Ferguson for that win. And on to the Fitness International, we have Rael Graber. Uh, Figure International was Sydney Gillian. And Bikini International is Janet Leg. Women's Physique will be Natalia Abraham Colo. I hope I'm missing these. I hope I'm not messing these names up. Some of them are kind of difficult. And in the for pro wheelchair, you had Harold King Kong Kelly edging out Chris Dim for that win. Um, also, the Arnold Strongman, which I do love watching this. Um, it's uh, it's amazing some of the feats of strength that these guys do. Uh, your Strongman winner was Hathor Jornson. I know I probably messed that one up, but man, the mountain, huge, huge, huge guy. Um, they said they call him the mountain for a reason, uh, was your winner. Um, and Last night, if you happened to watch the show on the, if you were there or watch the live stream, you happened to watch the the stone lifting they did on stage, and that was pretty darn fun. Um, I think it weighed like 410 or 415 pounds. It was a heavy one, I know that. <laughs> kind of scary when it rolled off the stage. It's like good thing they had that extra um, space in between the uh, competitor or kind of between the stage and the crowd. Um, but uh, now this name I'm going to really screw up. Um, he lifted this 400 and some pound stone onto his shoulder five times within two minutes, breaking a new record. Uh, Matus Kalazowski, I know I really screwed that up. Um, you have to Google that and look that one up for how to pronounce that name or, or spell that name, but that's who won. That was pretty darn well neat to, to watch. And another notable I want to uh, mention out on the um, strongman is uh, Ray Williams breaking the record and squatted 1,080 pounds. Yeah, you heard it right, 1,080 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Whew. So, yeah, I do do it out next to the, uh, the obviously the bodybuilding show. I do enjoy watching the uh, strongman. I think it's kind of neat um, to watch these guys lift the you know lift this up and and they did the uh, wheel of pain was interesting. Um, so that's always a fun to a fun event to catch and, and watch on that. So. Um, it's in the books. Uh, I just wanted to wrap up do a wrap, do a wrap up show on the show on the event. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, go back and watch some of the videos. They're going to be all on YouTube, and you can see the uh, competitors for yourself. Um, see how they look. Make your own conclusions. Um, but uh, again, I I really enjoyed the show. So I think we're going to have a uh, a good Olympia this year. I think if if, if that's a preview, what's to come. Uh, we're going to have a good show for sure on, on that stage there in uh, Las Vegas coming up in September. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Um, again, this is Sunday morning. We're starting a new week. Um, as far as my shoulder, um, it's still in rehab, but I am going to start going to the gym this week. Um, going to start doing a little bit of cardio. Going to do some leg work to kind of get my kind of get back into the gym, ease back into it. I've, I've missed it, especially watching the, uh, the show last night. I was like, man, I really missed the gym, you know. Not be able to get in there and, and uh, push the iron around like I was able to for first, but we'll get there again. Just take it one step at a time. Um, but like I said, I'm planning on get back in there this week. I'm gonna do some legs and some cardio and things like that just to kind of get the blood flowing, get back in there, kind of get into the routine a little bit. So hope y'all hope y'all have a good week this week. Uh, it is first week of first official week of March. Uh, finally getting through this winter. It's still cold though. I'm ready for I'm ready for summer. Let's just go right into some warm weather. But uh, 
if you're in there at the gym this week, remember just you know train hard, train smart, and I'll talk to you next week. Love you.